You guys want to see something peculiar? Ma! Hello! Oh! See? Look at that! You can't see my eyes! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is directed by Tim Burton. The film stars Asa Butterfield, Eva Green, Ella Perel, I believe, Judy Dench, Samuel Jackson, Chris O'Dowd, Terrence Stab. And Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is about this young boy named Jacob. He does not exactly have the best life around. His parents are pretty neglectful. He goes to therapy. No one really likes him. His grandfather told him before he passed away, going to Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children because when Jacob was young, his grandfather would tell him these stories. So Jacob goes ahead and listens to his grandfather and he goes to Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. He meets the children that have all of these strange powers. But then a huge threat comes when Samuel Jackson basically wants to take away the eyeballs. So I was really hoping this film would honestly be a Tim Burton film. I really enjoy it because I just really love the concept. And so after seeing Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, this film is disappointing. This film is not memorable. And it's nowhere near as good as I thought it was going to be. Tim Burton has honestly disappointed me with this film. Not to say it's a terrible film. It's most certainly not that. But it is a boring film. My goodness, the pacing in this film. Eva Green did a great job as Miss Peregrine. Unfortunately, considering the fact this film is titled Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, she's not in this film that much, which is ironic, but for the moments Eva Green is in this film, I thought she did a really great job. I thought the actors that played the children, I thought they all did a very good job. I thought Ella Purnell did a really good job in this film. The one that introduces the Jacob about the home for peculiar children and forming a nice little friendship, you can say. And I actually did really like the moments when it's her and Jacob. I thought these characters had very nice interactions with each other. Asa Butterfield actually does give a very good performance. His performance is not the problem. He actually is legitimately good in this film. I just didn't really care about Jacob. Jacob was honestly a bland character. All he does in this film is really just ask questions. He doesn't really look all that surprised. Like there's not really a reaction where he learns about all this stuff. He's just, oh, okay, oh, okay. But there's none of that. Wow, wow. Unfortunately, this film does have a very uninteresting protagonist. I didn't hate this character. He does have his moments where I kind of liked him, but for the most part, I didn't think the character was all that interesting. I thought Terrence Stamp, I thought it was really good to see Terrence Stamp and I really liked him for what he had in this film. Samuel L. Jackson, another problem. He's barely in this film. That's disappointing to say because for the screen time that he definitely has in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, he was a funny character. I actually really enjoyed his villain. He could tell that Samuel L. Jackson was honestly having a lot of fun. That was nice. I just wish there was more to his antagonist. I do think his motivation was just really, really weird. As far as Tim Burton's direction goes, I did really like his direction. I do think this is a very well-directed film, and that really does add to the great camera work that Tim Burton is known for using in his films. The cinematography looks beautiful. It does have that gothic Tim Burton color that we're known to see, but also does have moments of being very colorful. The costume designs are beautiful and breathtaking. The world that Tim Burton has created is stunning to look at, and that's why it bums me out that the storyline for this film really wasn't all that interesting, because it, it was great being in this world. I liked looking at this world, but the story that it, that he's trying to tell within this world, it just wasn't all that engaging. And as I said earlier, 
This is honestly a boring movie. I was honestly bored for the majority of the movie. Sometimes it does have its fun moments. When you see the children using their powers, it was very cool. There are some scenes in the climax that I really liked. Other moments I actually thought were actually rather stupid, but some moments in the climax were actually fun. Then you even have characters that are completely forgotten. Judy Dench is in this film and I really liked her, but it's like after a while they kind of forget about her character and they even forget about Asa Butterfield's parents, like Chris O'Dowd, who I liked. I thought he did a good job portraying Asa Butterfield's father, but he he gets forgotten after a while. The film d tends to have characters that get completely forgotten and the film is really confusing. I wouldn't say it's a bad storyline. I wouldn't say it's a horribly written film. It's nothing like that. It's just that it does have messy writing to it. And you even do have that cliched character that is jealous of someone else. Like I didn't really think that was very needed. And of course, the children themselves are interesting, but the movie focuses mainly on Jacob and Emma, so they're honestly very underused. The children are honestly about as underused as most of the members in Suicide Squad. And that's a shame because I would have liked for this film to explore more on the powers, but so focused on Jacob and Emma. Oh yeah, and then not to mention that there's actually a 10 minute bit where Jacob goes back into the real world and that really drags down the pacing. The film was already not that interesting as it is, but it's like when he does go to the real world, it gets twice, and I mean twice, as more uninteresting and unengaging. And also without spoiling anything, you do learn something about Jacob when you get to the climax and once you see what that reveal pretty much is, I was sitting there going, really? That's it? Like that's all you have to offer right there? That's what this whole film was really building up to. That's what this whole mystery of the film was building up to. It was honestly pretty lame to be honest. In my opinion, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is a lackluster film. It's not a terrible film, however. I don't think it's bad. There are some things that were fun about it, just not enough of those scenes. There is still some of that imagination you come to love from Tim Burton. But the film suffers from being honestly messy and confusing. There's a lot of moments where I was just scratching my head going, what? And the pacing of the film is really, really slow. This film is way too long in my opinion. I really don't think it should have been two hours long. Maybe if the storyline was more interesting, I wouldn't have a problem with the pacing. This is a very underwhelming movie. It had so much potential to be this fun, good movie. And it's nothing special nothing I'm gonna remember, and I'm gonna give Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children two out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and what is your favorite film by Tim Burton? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.